ask any user the best aspect of using Fluent Forms, they will surely say speed and ease of use. But once you're done making the necessary form, you can tweak and touch up the form to make it perfect. With so many customization options, the form will absolutely blend in with your brand. Here's how to do that. Once you're happy with the fields, save your form and click preview and design. You can see that your form is fully functional, but looks bland and detached from your brand image. As you can see on your right, you got 5 different style templates to choose from. You can instantly change the outlook of your form by choosing any of this. But if you want to go the extra mile, customize every detail, choose custom and an array of editing option will open to you. Under the general tab, you got to change the color and appearance of almost all field text. Click on typography to make the fonts big, small, thick, thin, capitalized, italic, underlined and if you want, you can really spread out your letters. You'll get these options for element labels, input areas and placeholder as well. Click here to make your text colorful. Choose as you want or if you have a specific color in mind, copy and paste the code here. Let's add a dash of color to the form by changing the background color of the input area. If you want to show a different color combination when a field is selected, enter that color combination under the focus section. Wanna add a box shadow? Let's do it. Tweaking these details, you can put the shadow exactly where and how you want. Clicking here, you can change the border of the boxes so you're not limited to a basic design. Choose and change the weight and radius to match your sense of style. For every field you add, you're gonna get an editing option on the right. In the case of a radio or checkbox field, you can edit item colors, but once you activate the smart UI, you can customize the border and a background color to the selected item. The form will automatically add this background color to all the other fields that requires item section. For example, now that we have already edited the radio field, if we go ahead and check an item in the grid table, you see the same background color. If you're using a grid table to collect information, just know that you can change every aspect of this table. You get separate option for the table head and table body. Change the color of text and background. And we have already walked you through the typography option. If you want to reset the changes just made, simply click here. Letting your users rank something? If you're using Net Promoter for that, you can add an active background color and it will look like this. If you're using a range slider instead, you can add both active and inactive colors as well the text color. We always recommend breaking your super lengthy forms into multiple steps. With Fluent Forms, you can make a multi-step form with a stylish progress bar. You get to select the active and inactive color. as well as the typography. Every single button you will be using in this form is editable. So, in case of multi-step form, you get to design the previous, next and submit buttons. And customize how they will look when you hover over them. Highlighting your buttons once a cursor is held on it is a great way to make your form look more animated. Use the padding and margin measurement to get the submit buttons exactly where you want it in the form. Add some box shadow to make it look more 3D. There are even more customization options under the miscellaneous settings. You can edit the container text and background color. Once you have add a background color, you'll have more fun tweaking the padding and margin of the form. You can even add a border to your form as per your liking. Does your form comes with some mandatory fields? Those fields are usually marked with an asterisk and yes, you can change its color too. Next comes the error and the success messages. 
the inline error messages can have the color and typography you want. When it comes to post submission error or success messages, you can also add a background color and a box shadow. Adding some box shadow is a great way to add some depth in the field or make the box looks like it's floating. Once you're happy with your form design, click save settings. Now, once you have a preferred form design, you can import this design to your future forms, existing forms or import another existing design. It's that simple. Just always make sure to save your settings. Wanna learn more about lead generation and web forms? Check out our channel and you'll find a lot more helpful tutorials. We regularly upload videos, so hit the bell icon to not to miss the next one.